Hi guys, Cinematic Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain an American science fiction movie, called Under the Skin. The movie opens with black circles converging to form a human figure. During the transformation, a woman attempts to utter some words, but they are inaudible. The scene then transitions to a motorcyclist stopping on the roadside to pick up an unconscious girl, whom he places in a van. After that, the paralyzed girl lies in front of a mysterious naked girl, who undresses her and notices a tear rolling down her cheek. After getting dressed, the mysterious girl notices an ant crawling on the body of the paralyzed girl and decides to pick it up. She then exits the building and enters the van. Later on, the mysterious girl arrives at a mall where she observes numerous human behaviors, including many women applying makeup and skincare to appear attractive. She also purchases clothes and adopts the habit of applying lipstick to her lips. In the evening, the mysterious girl resumes her hunt, appearing to search for someone specific. She travels around the city, targeting single men. Soon, she approaches a young man for directions to the M8 motorway, but his response is convoluted. When she offers him a ride, he declines, as he is headed to meet someone. Because of that, the girl finds another man and asks him for directions to the post office, attempting to get to know him better. However, she becomes displeased when she discovers that he has a family. Eventually, she encounters another man who works as an electrician on the highway, engaging him in conversation and offering him a ride when she learns he lives alone. However, she ends up letting him out of the van when she realizes that he is not interested in her. Shortly after that, she manages to find a man and asks him to sit beside her. She admires him, calling him handsome. He reciprocates the sentiment, and the girl eventually leads him into a dark room. There, she undresses as the man tries to follow, but he begins sinking into the blackish fluid floor, and she watches as he vanishes. The whole sequence is followed by mysterious hunting music playing in the background. After the man has completely disappeared, the girl dresses and continues her hunt. The next morning, she catches sight of a man swimming in an ocean. When he finishes, the girl strikes up a conversation with him, asking about nearby surfing spots. He reveals that he is from the Czech Republic and had only come to swim. The conversation is abruptly interrupted when they notice a woman struggling to stay afloat while trying to save her dog. The swimmer hesitates to help, but eventually rushes to her aid when he sees another man attempting to rescue her. Tragically, the woman drifts away in the water, and the swimmer can only save the other man, who turns out to be her husband. However, the man still swims back to the water to find the woman. Meanwhile, the swimmer becomes exhausted and collapses on the shore. The mysterious girl arrives there and drags his body away after hitting his head with a stone, disregarding a nearby crying baby. At night, the motorcyclist visits the shore and picks up a piece of clothing near the baby, but completely ignores the helpless child. On the other hand, the mysterious girl follows her new target who is walking towards a club. However, she changes her mind when she sees a large crowd of partying women and is dragged inside the club. Feeling uncomfortable, she decides to leave and eventually finds herself in an underground lounge area. By chance, she spots her target from earlier and strikes up a conversation with him. He tells her that he saw her on the road, and they start teasing each other. After dancing for a while, the girl leads the man to the same dark room, where he sinks into the same blackish fluid floor while following the naked girl. This time, when the man is submerged, he spots another man in front of him whose skin has been softened. As the new victim touches his hand, the first victim's body appears to implode and settle to the bottom, leaving nothing but his skin. His blood and internal organs are funneled through a conveyor that leads to an opening on the wall. The following day, the mysterious girl finds herself stuck in traffic. Out of nowhere, a flower peddler approaches her and hands her a rose that was bought by a man in another car. Upon inspection, she sees blood on the wrapping, but realizes that it came from a wound on the seller's hand. Not long after that, she hears news about the family that drowned at the ocean, but she pays no attention to it and moves on. Soon enough, she finds another victim who compliments her beauty. Therefore, the girl takes him to the dark room, where he meets his demise. Afterwards, the motorcyclist approaches her and stares deep into her eyes as if he is communicating with her telepathically. She then gets out of the house and walks on the street alone. At one point, she trips and falls to the ground, stunned by the experience. People attempt to assist her, but she walks away silently. She continually observes people around her, possibly attempting to learn more about daily human life. While driving through the city, the girl's van is suddenly surrounded by a group of rowdy men who bang on the windows. Despite the disturbance, she calmly drives away and comes across a man walking alone on the street. As usual, she asks for directions and offers him a ride. 
Once inside the van, the man uncovers his disfigured face and reveals that he was going to the supermarket at night to avoid being bothered by people during the day. He also shares that he has never had a friend or girlfriend, and upon hearing this, the girl stops the van and asks him to touch her face and neck. Hence, the man falls prey to her beauty, and they end up in the same dark room where they meet a strange figure. The girl assures the man that the strange figure will not interrupt them. As the man starts sinking to the floor, she comes out of the dark room and looks at her reflection in the mirror. She keeps staring at herself and seems to develop feelings for the first time. At the same time, she spots a trapped fly nearby and decides to free the disfigured man, who then walks naked across a field in an attempt to escape. Unluckily, the motorcyclist appears out of nowhere and knocks him unconscious before putting him in the trunk of a nearby car and leaving the scene. In the meantime, the mysterious girl continues to drive the van until she stops, confused about what is happening to her. She then leaves her van and walks into a thick fog. On the other hand, the motorcyclist stares at the mirror, wondering where the girl has gone. After a long walk, the girl arrives at a restaurant and tries to eat a slice of chocolate cake, but it makes her choke and vomit. She then leaves the restaurant and finds herself waiting at a bus stop due to the rain. Once on the bus, she meets a kind-hearted man who offers to help her, and she accepts. After shopping, the man takes her to his house where he cooks them a meal. However, the girl ignores the food and turns her attention to a stand-up comedy show on the television. She watches it intently, attempting to learn more about human behavior, and also enjoys some music while the man washes the dishes. Later that night, the girl undresses and looks at the beauty of her body. Elsewhere, the motorcyclist gathers with his friends, and they set out on a mission to find the girl. The next morning, the mysterious girl gets a chance to explore the hill area with the man. At some point, she gets scared, but the man helps her overcome her fear and leads her inside a cave-like room. At night, the girl gets ready to make love with the man, but not knowing what it means, she pushes the man away and examines her private part closely using a lamp. The following day, she leaves the man's house and sets out on a walk through the woods on her own. Along the way, she comes across a commercial logger who warns her about the dangers of the forest and asks her to be cautious. After some time, the girl decides to take a break and rests in a shelter that she finds in the woods. When she falls asleep, the logger sneaks up on her and attempts to rape her. The girl fights back and runs away from him. She tries to flee in a logging truck, but she is unable to find the keys. When the logger catches up to her, she honks the truck's horn for help, but no one comes. Therefore, she abandons the truck and continues her escape into the woods. Unfortunately, the logger manages to catch up to her and tries to rape her once again. In the chaos, he accidentally rips her skin and is taken aback when he sees pitch black flesh underneath. Terrified, he runs off, while the girl sheds her torn skin, revealing a featureless black body. After a while, the logger returns and douses her in fuel. He sets her ablaze, and the girl tries to escape, but the flames consume her and reduce her to ashes and smoke. The movie ends with the motorcyclist standing on a mountaintop, gazing out at the snowy field as he continues his search for the girl. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.